Hi Libra, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Libra. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing Libra with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so off camera, what I was getting for you is that you and uh, a significant other have reason to celebrate maybe engagement or birth um buying a home something you have reason to celebrate you guys are celebrating together uh also um but there's something in the background here i don't know if there's some other woman or something in the background in terms of uh somebody wanting to know the truth so let's see what that is about let's see What's going on for my Libras? All right, the Eight of Cups. All right, so somebody has to make some tough emotional choice here to walk away. They've already checked out emotionally. This is a tough emotional decision because look how much they have invested here. And when they leave, they don't know where they're going. It's a journey into the unknown, you know? Also, this is like an energy of let me finish up and then move on. I don't know what that means. You know, it could be, let me fin wait till the kids get out of school, get out of, you know, graduate or whatever. And then I am, I'm out of here. We'll wait until we sell the home and then I'm out of here. And things of, of those natures. Let's see. What's going on here? The four of pentacles. Yeah, because someone feels like the other person is too clingy, domineering, uh, rigid, controlling. Uh, they want things their way. Um they try to exert their force over the other person. Um, it's a toxic stuck relationship here that somebody is in. Someone wants to move and it might not be enough money to move. Again, real estate showing up. The King of Cups. Uh, somebody could be reserving how they, they feel. Also being very balanced with their emotions in terms of what to show and what not to show. This could be you, Libra, because that's my male Libra. Um, it's like somebody doesn't want, they want things right how they are, exactly the way they are. They don't want change. Five of Swords here. And it could be some tough words said to you, Libra, or vice versa, you coming from you, where there's defeat. There's also a high level of selfishness and self-centeredness and just being um, aggressive about your own motives, about your own agenda to the point of, you know, it defeating the purpose of you being in a relationship, defeating the purpose of, you know, whatever. The Five of Swords asks you to question your motive, you know, question your motives in anyone else's. There could be a breakdown in communication here too. Little to no communication. It's just a high level of aggressiveness. Let's see. The Five of Cups too. Ooh. The Wheel of Fortune. Um, things have changed. I don't know if for the for the better. It could be a temporary change too. Um, if the relationship went through a tough patch or uh, you know um a tough time it looks like um you guys can't recover this relationship but it's gonna it's gonna take a lot of work it's gonna take a lot of effort and you're gonna have to lay your ego down you're gonna have to come back to one another you know you're gonna have to build a bridge to one another somebody feels like something is lost without you or they're lost without you it could be a Sagittarius or a Piscean person. Ace of Cups, yeah, they feel like they love you more or that there's no progression in the relationship. It's just a lot of love between the two of you, but it doesn't progress into anything. It doesn't progress into a real relationship. It doesn't progress. Um, yeah, somebody feels like they just need to move on, maybe even in secrecy, okay? someone feels like they need to move on in secrecy they, they have rationalized this moving on it just makes sense at this point maybe they they could even be moving on in shame they didn't get what they wanted they didn't win 
uh, this could also be a third party moving on. It looks like maybe for you, Libra, you and your person could be celebrating and there, there'll be a moving on in terms of uh, a third party. Also, for some of you, you didn't get what you wanted. You didn't get what you wanted. Um, or somebody didn't get what they wanted out of you. Someone didn't get what they wanted out of you and they could be moving on. They could just be trying to have more self-love and put themselves first. They could just be trying to, uh, yeah, they're going to sacrifice this connection, this relationship. Because somebody is asking the question of why haven't I had what I really wanted? And it's because maybe they're they're putting everything else and everyone else first before you, before the connection. Well, no, you could be putting someone else first before the connection, before yourself. Self-sacrificing with the five of swords here. Maybe even self-sabotage for some of you. Some Somebody just, you guys, there's a lot of discord, disharmony. It was not har harmonious. You didn't want the same thing. You were not on the same level in terms of goals and moving forward. Therefore, somebody feels like they need to move on. Staying in this much longer is just going to br bring them to a place of absolute collapse. It could be you, Libra. It could be another person. This is what I have for you. If it resonates for you, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text a question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy me a coffee link. Thank you. Many blessings to you.